Hey everyone, I'm Terry G. Thanks a lot for stopping by and watching my channel. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe? I'd really appreciate it. If you can take another second, can you please hit that like button? And I'd appreciate that too, okay? I just wanna take a moment out and wish everybody a happy new year. And I know 22, 2022 is gonna be a great year for everyone because we're gonna remain sober one day at a time, right? We're all gonna stay sober. I know it's not gonna be easy for some of us, but that's what we're going to do because that's what this channel is all about. It's about living sober one day at a time. It may be hard at times and easier at other times, but I'll tell you something, at the end, it's all worth it. What I wanna talk about today, I wanna to talk about sponsorship in 12-step programs. And I don't hear this often, but I do hear it quite a bit, enough to make a video about. And what it's about, it's about, it's about this. I'll give you an example. About two months ago, I had a young fellow, he did a violent crime uh, downtown here in Ottawa. And uh, he, he mentioned it to me. And he asked me what he should do. And the first thing I wanted to do to him is play lawyer. The first comeback I wanted to, you know, play lawyer to him. And then I said to myself, that it's, this is an outside issue. He needs to go and see a lawyer. So that's the number one thing I told him, to go and see a lawyer. Then I told him, you know, what I would do. I made a few other suggestions about honesty and honesty in all our affairs, what it says in the programs. And I talked to them about that, but I did not play lawyer with them and tell them anything legally. I've been in trouble with the law many, many times in drinking and I can relate to what he's saying and I can relate to the fear. And that's what I talked to him about. But when it comes to the legal matters, the actual court procedures or how he should proceed with it, that is best left up to the professionals. My job as a sponsor is to support the young fella, tell him what I would do, like a suggestion, relate to him with, in a non-judgmental way, but not advise him like I'm a criminal lawyer. And I hear that a lot in Alcoholics Anonymous and other 12-step programs I've been to. Just because I've had a broken leg doesn't make me a doctor. And just because I've had a heart problems doesn't make me a heart specialist. So I try not to give people medical Pro, uh, medical advice on what to do. I, I really try not to do that. I stay out of it. To me, it's an outside issue. I try not to give financial advice to people because everybody's different. I'm not a financial advisor, believe it or not. And I try not to give the holy grail of all, marital counseling. I've been married three times. I find relationships difficult like anybody else. So I try not to advise. I try and relate to the person, support the person, talk about the 12 steps to the person, how it relates in my life, how I sort of help my relationships when it comes to the 12 step programs. But I don't tell somebody what to do when it comes to their marriage. It's not my place. It's an outside issue. And people tell, talk like that to sponsees. I think it's completely unfair. We need to support, we need to relate in a non-judgmental way. And for myself, the only thing I'm good at and sometimes I'm really not that good at it, is staying sober one day at a time. So I tell the young fellow what to do and I tell other sponsees how I did it in my life. But when it comes to the big stuff, you need to get a lawyer or a doctor or a marriage counselor. They're outside issues when it comes to 12-step programs. Just because we are alcoholics and we've had a tough, lousy life, I know I have, and I've had a lot of experience in all those areas, bad marriages, medical issues, financial issues, legal issues, it doesn't make me an expert in them. It doesn't, and I have no real right or real say to tell somebody what to do. When you have a legal problem in 12-step programs, go and see a lawyer. If your marriage is suffering, go and see a marriage counselor. If you got a sore side, see a doctor, okay? And if your finances suck, it means talk to somebody who knows about finances and how to get you out of the hot water. That's what I would do. But the main thing, the main thing is for me, when it comes to sponsoring sponsees and 12 step programs is to carry the message and to relate and support them through their lives. Because I'm gonna tell you something, it works, the program works through other people. Long as we're sober, we go to a lawyer or a doctor, things will get better, finances will get better and they can help us do that. They're the experts. In 12-step programs, people come there to stay sober, clean and sober one day at a time. That's what they do. And everything else will work out. So next time you're sponsoring somebody, 
and they ask you those questions. Maybe you want to take a few pointers from this video. It's an outside issue. Support, direct them to a lawyer or to a medical professional or to a marriage or counselor and support them and relate your stories. Just because I've been through the ringer doesn't make me an expert in all areas. By no means it does at all. So that's maybe it's a little bit of a pet peeve I'm talking about here. And maybe it is, maybe it is not, but yeah, I think it is a pet peeve to be honest with you. So take, well, take it as you want it, I guess. But I'm, uh, I'm sticking to my guns. I'm sticking to my guns. My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? And can you take another second and hit that like button, okay? And if you want me to do a video or something that you like me to talk about, just leave it in the comments below, okay? Just do that for me. So, Happy New Year to you. God bless. Stay sober. Stay safe. And remember, we're in this together. We're in this together. No one's by themselves. There's no one, there's no I in team. <laughs> something like that anyways. You get what I'm talking about. It's a beautiful day here, beautiful winter day in my cottage. It's Tuesday, December 28th. I'm going back to work tomorrow after a few days off. Looking forward to that. It's been a great year and thanks everybody for the support of my, my channel here. It's not a big channel, but uh, it's a good channel. And I know I'm helping other people out there, but also it's helping me a great deal with my sobriety one day at a time, okay? See you later and don't forget to reach out and help somebody, okay? Bye for now. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.